Greetings, all. Many of you know that I own the TC Electronic T2 Reverb. You know, that pedal's got a lot of great ambient tones, but I found myself wanting more. So what I decided to do was dig into the TC Electronic Tone Print Editor and see what I could come up with in terms of a customized reverb that's all my own. So let's check it out. All right, I've got the Tone Print Editor up on the screen here. And I should mention that if you want to create a tone print, what you'll need to do is plug your reverb into your computer via the USB cable. Obviously, you'll also need to download the Tone Print Editor software from TC Electronic. It's free, and it's available for both Windows and Mac. Anyhow, what I've got dialed up is a uh, one of these kind of stock reverbs that come with the Tone Print Editor. It's actually based on the Hall of Fame reverb. So this is one thing to note about all the reverbs. They're all compatible. You can, you can load any of the TC Electronic reverbs with any of the other reverb sounds. So you can kind of look through the list there, see small room, room plate, phasing temp temple, all kinds of stuff. Let me, uh, let me play the ambience here, which is what I've got it set up to. Okay, great. So let's kind of whoop. Let's kind of walk through um, the control, the options here in the Tone Print Editor. So um, actually, the first thing you'll want to do before you really start editing is turn your device, your, your reverb to the tone print delay type. That way you can store your tone print uh, to your reverb after you've got it tweaked the way you want it. Let's start with the router. Pretty simple option, kill dry on or off. If you turn it on, there'll be no dry signal. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Here is the dry signal mixed with the uh, wet. All right, so let's look down in the reverb section here. And you'll note first thing up is decay time. So you can go from one tenth of a second. I'm sorry, one one hundredth of a second. Let me get that right. Pretty sweet. And we can move it all the way up to 20 seconds. All right, pretty cool, huh? The next thing we have is delay, pre-delay short and pre-delay long. Now, if you recall in the T2, there is a little switch that allows you to select the pre-delay setting. So if the switch is in the up position, you're going to get the short pre-delay. If it's in the bottom position, you'll get the long. So if let's go with 12 milliseconds for short and let's pull it all the way up to 100 for long. I've got the switch now in the short position. Here we go. Let me pull this back down here so you can hear it better. Okay, not much of a pre-delay. Let's turn it to the long. Hear how much longer that delay is? So that's pretty sweet. Uh, down on the second line, you can control delay diffusion and both the, uh, the low color and high color, which are your tone controls. So let's check that out. Here's diffusion. Let's go all the way down to negative 50. Let's move it all the way up to very diffuse. Okay, so pretty cool. So low color is going to be the kind of the low, it's going to bring up the low end. So let's pull this all the way up. I'm going to pull high color all the way down just so you can hear it. Okay, not very much highs. So let's pull low color down. Okay, that pulls a lot of the low end out. Let's leave it in the middle here. And high colors all the way down. Okay, let's pull it all the way up. Okay, so you can kind of hear what's going on there. Let's kind of put it in the middle. 
the next thing we're going to want to look at is some modulation. So you'll see a whole modulation section down below. You can, you can control the overall depth of your modulation. So let, let's listen to that. Okay, you can hear how the, the modulation kind of comes in and goes out. You can also control early reflections. Okay, and then reverb is just simply the kind of the reverb level. Okay, so it's all the way up, which is going to be roughly equivalent with the, uh, the dry signal. There's also a dynamics mode, which is kind of cool. This allows you to control the amount of reverb based on your pick attack. Right now, this is off. Let me turn it on here. So we're going to turn it on positive. Can you hear that? I'm going to pick really soft now. Okay, let me pick hard now. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So let me pull this down here. So you've got a lot of control over, here we go, here's damping. And you can do attack and release. So pretty cool. You can even do inverse. Which kind of goes in the opposite way. All right, so that's dynamics mode. I'm going to turn that back off. Now we have this whole modulation section. So um, you've got modulation active off, off and on. You've got classic. Let's see, we've got classic chorus. We've got advanced chorus flanger, advanced flanger vibrato, vibrato ramp, and tri-chorus and tri-chorus alternate. So you've got a lot of options for... Um, modulation. So can you kind of hear what's going? Let me pull this up here. You've got you've got depth one, depth two. So let me turn down the uh, speed here. There we go. Can you hear can you hear that? Let me uh, flip it to a different setting here. Let's try flanger. Yeah, it sounds a little bit like a flanger, doesn't it? Here we go. I kind of like that one. Actually, I hadn't tried that one before. <laughs> All right. So you can do a whole lot with uh, modulation. Actually, you can spend a lot of time in this section really tweaking. So these are the basic uh, sections. I was going to say modules, but maybe, I guess, categories of changes that you can make, router, reverb, and modulation. Once you get everything tweaked, you can now work on the two knobs, so the decay knob and the tone knob. So in this area at the bottom, you can decide what each knob is going to do. And each knob can control up to three different parameters in your delay. So check that out. You can control modulation, low color, high color, um, output level, all kinds of stuff. So it's pretty, uh, the dynamics mode, it's pretty cool. Uh, so the idea here is that with one or more of these 
parameters, you can assign them to each knob. So the decay knob on this setting, the ambience one setting, actually has decay, high factor, and no selection for the third option. And over here in the right where the graph is, you can set your knob range. So let's check out the uh, decay. So right now we're going to go from basically no decay all the way to, you know, three seconds or so. so. But what if I want it a lot longer? I can just simply drag these nodes and kind of change the, uh, the curve, if you will, of what happens when I twist the knob. Now, now watch what happens when I do twist the decay knob. I've got it set up to the highest level. I am now moving the knob, and you can see the little indicator move. This shows you, as I move the knob, where the uh, where the decay time is going to go. So you can you don't have to have a straight line for how the knob moves. So here's 20 seconds again. And here's very short. And in the middle. Let's check out the actual tone knob. And you'll see this one is controlling diffusion or diffuse. And it's also controlling low color. And it's pretty much a straight line for both of these um, as you move the knob. All right. Once you get your delay, uh, de delay, once you get your reverb setting the way you like it, then you can store it to the pedal and you can also save it to your computer. So store at the top saves it to your computer, store to pedal saves it to your actual TC electronic reverb pedal. What did I do? I created a tone print called, actually I created two. I created one called Big Hall One. So let's check that out. So Big Hall One basically goes from a short decay all the way up to 20 seconds. And I played around a lot with the modulation area and you can see I've got it set to vibrato. So uh, I'm actually changing the pitch of the of the of the uh, reverb as in particular as the decay time goes up so let's see here so there's the modulation mix as i turn the tone knob up the mix gets a little higher so let me turn the tone all the way down i'm going to turn the uh, decay level into the middle area of the knob so that's going to be right in the middle there and let's hear what it sounds like So you can hear a little bit of modulation, but let's check out what happens when I bring that tone knob all the way up. See that little, that little ball moving along the line there? Now it's all the way up. Listen to the modulation in particular. Like that. Okay, so let me bring the decay up. You can see I just have decay assigned to the decay knob. So I'm going to bring it up to oh, probably about right there. Let's check it out. All right. I like that a lot. What I'm going to do now is chop out the reverb for a moment. Okay. And I'm going to bring in just a little bit of tape. De uh, yeah, just a little bit of tape delay. All right. Now, if I combine that tape delay with the reverb, here we go.
That works for me. I like that a lot. There's a lot of things I can use with that. As a matter of fact, I've already used this big hall uh, reverb setting on a couple of my recent ambient guitar meditations here on the YouTube channel. All right, let's try briefly the other uh, tone print that I created called Dino One. And what you're going to see here that I've got the dynamics mode set right here. It's set to inverse. I've got the threshold kind of down low. Got some damping going on, and you can see release, attack, and release. Okay, so let's check that out. Oh, actually, let's so let's check the knobs here. So the decay knob only controls the reverb decay, and it too goes all the way up. And then the tone knob controls just the high color, so basically the high end. So let's uh, let me play around with that a little bit. I'm gonna bring the decay time down a good bit. All right, let me bring the uh, decay time. Actually, yeah, that's the tone, sorry. So let me bring the tone down here. And let me bring the decay time all the way up. So there you have it. There's a couple of tone prints that I've created and a run through of the tone print editor. If you've got any TC electronic pedals, whether it's a reverb pedal or a delay pedal that have tone print slots, I would encourage you to download the tone print editor and start playing around and see what you can come up with to create a customized reverb in this case, or a delay, if you've got a delay pedal, that's all your own. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I've got ambient guitar-related content coming every week. And if you're interested, you can also check out Chords of Orion Music here. And in the meantime, I'll see all of you on the next video.